Welcome back guys. This is the leadership series as you know we are continuing with our 15th anniversary edition. Today we have Mr. Prashant Mani who is the managing director of Motorola India. You know Motorola for all his famous phones and today we have the man with us. So Prashant welcome to the show and thanks for your time. How is it going with you? All good? All good. Thank you so much for having me on the show Ramesh. So uh, Prashant right off the box what is the one truth that you believe in most people who disagree with you? uh okay so i think uh, quick decision making uh, does not impact business negatively that's the belief i have it does not many mean that there's a lack of enough thinking through an issue uh it does mean that you think through an issue but decide a lot of people like to uh, sit over things but i believe that it's important that you should take quick decisions uh this this is uh the reason i think like this uh and it got uh, even stronger for me is when i read a a very nice thought by michael dell uh, he talks about decision making and he says something very simple it kind of stayed in my mind after that if any action from any decision is reversible he's saying take it as act because once it is reversible you can change it tomorrow most of the decisions we take on in a day to day lives in when we run our companies here in india are reversible on a day to day basis so we just need to be cognizant of that fact and have a regular cadence to review those decisions of course you said the right thing but what is the one thing that you think that aspiring leaders should always learn and think um the more i think about it in uh, over time uh, a subject which people should now all all aspiring managers all aspiring business people should have uh, this as a as a skill is knowing finance and accounts uh, everything which we do needs to be measured in terms of financial impact uh, i i i recently saw an interview of uh, aditya puri he the ex md of hdfc bank and he said something very nice and he, he calls it a laddu theory and he put it in a very simplistic way and it really made a lot of sense to me and what it really what he really meant was at the end of any action we just need clear results which can be measured in terms of some financial goals or results this could be cost reduction could be revenue increase but anything we do has to have a measured impact financially and i think most of the smes and the startups they miss that you know they think that business is about marketing and very nice presentations but finance is where they all screw up to say the word you know so what is the other thing that you think uh, for sustained growth and sustained leadership is essential one single uh, word for it consumer centricity uh, very easy to preach uh, not at all easy to practice but a deep understanding on what really matters to consumers and it is called, you know a lot of us in marketing call it consumer insight but developing that insight is very critical and that's what is absolutely necessary for sustained growth and, and this is what most of us should be working on nice now that you said what is that one book that you keep reading you know an average ceo reads about 56 books so <laughs> i've always liked uh, feynman richard feynman so in my engineering days there was a there's a book i read and i keep coming back to one chapter in it this uh, book is called shortly your joking mr feynman so richard feynman was a brilliant physicist and he has a chapter in this book called lucky numbers now why i really love this chapter is uh, feynman uses uh, approximations in this so this lucky numbers is all about maths if you read the chapter but in most of the answers he gives in in seconds minutes in the chapter and this is a bet he's had with a, a mathematician he says you can ask me any exponential series and feynman arrives at these answers 
which is very close to the right answer without having any tools any logarithmic tables any scientific calculator and is pretty accurate now leadership quotes that you really live by you know which really inspire you back and back the journey is the reward and uh, this i truly believe in uh, every time you take a journey uh, it may not result in success but the very fact that you've gone through the the journey is you're going to come out a better person so the, so the journey is the reward is something which i completely believe in the second one uh, is uh, you know we've always heard of fortune favors the brave but i heard a very nice quotation in this uh, turkish serial it's called dirilis ertugrul you know it's about the ottoman empire and how it got created and there's this uh, ibn arabi who says and he says destiny loves endeavor and it's such a beautiful statement because uh, nice. somewhere when you say fortune favors the brave it is nothing is coming inherently i mean brave is you know you could uh, you, it doesn't correlate with effort so when somebody said destiny loves endeavor you are giving so much meaning to effort that when you put in the effort things turn around for you this is something which i again believe a lot in and the third one is again by richard feynman it's a very simple one he and he says that i learned very early the difference between knowing the name of something and knowing something the you know there's a couple of jokes which comes to my mind but of course it's not relevant so i won't say it but tell me something prashant you know in this pandemic you know there was all of mental issues you are handling an organization how did you manage your work life balance because it must be stressful doing the zoom interviews and living a life and everything and managing all these launches the razor everything which has come during the lockdown in fact and i i, I have never personally faced this as a dilemma um, as long as you keep enjoying your work and uh, you know you have a loving family uh, it really it doesn't matter and somehow uh, pandemic or no pandemic issues remain the same so i have honestly never faced this as a dilemma now what is the what are the some productivity apps that you use you know just like a to do list or anything which uh, you know yes yeah, in the current context like you said most of us are using all kinds of connectivity apps so it's either microsoft teams or zoom or hangouts so I'll, i think most of our time goes in that like we doing right now um for personal time i tend to a lot of uh, binge watch on ott platforms and a big netflix amazon prime binge watcher and how is your technology detox because you know as you said you are all the time so about technology but how do you detox or if you do you know yeah so it's uh, spending time with kids yeah without the smartphone around me very clear mandated by my wife <laughs> but the important question is do kids leave the smartphone because that's also very difficult <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, that 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 is uh, controlled by the boss in the house <laughs> yeah uh, uh, prashant what's coming next from the motorola we have the 5g of course but now what next Mm, yeah so uh motorola for the last 100 years we've stood for a lot of innovation um you know re- recently was the 5g mods uh then we did the foldable razor so it, it goes without saying we'll continue to deliver the same uh through a wide range of products even going forward so uh, i think for us one thing which really matters is innovations and uh innovation that really matters to consumers uh, that's that's what i would say final question what is one piece of futuristic technology that you think smartphones or you should bring you know ah okay now i mean this is completely futuristic this is like um, 
Uh, and I, I, I love Iron Man. <laughs> so I would love to see gesture-based UIs. So, you know, the phone pops up on the screen and then you pop around the apps with your hand. So whatever you want to call it, you call it gesture-based UI, you call it projection systems, but it's, it's awesome and extremely cool. <laughs> Suddenly brings to life a small screen on a, on a, on, in, 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 in air where you can play around. The second again is uh, bendable phones. I think foldable is already there. Yeah. So, you know, things folding around your hands, uh, something you can wear on your, uh, as, an, as a band on your head, whatever. I mean, on, on your eyes, you can put it as goggles. So bendable devices is the other one. So I think I would love to see the kind of stuff which happens in Iron Man the most though. <laughs> Where you see things just popping up on the screen and you moving it around easily. So that's the kind of stuff I do. So Prashant, thank you so much. My personal takeaway is to take decisions irreversible. It was on my hindsight, now it's in front of me. Uh, keep doing your best, wish you all the best. I mean, you've been doing some great job with bringing Motorola back and you know, reviving all the exciting things that you do. And once again, thanks for time. And for all the guys who are watching this and listening this on the Spotify podcast or Google, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and stay subscribed. There's plenty more coming. Thank you, Prashant. Thanks for your time.